Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy if you are new here and today is part two of Rome Vlogs. Do I know how many parts there's going to be? I do not. I'm assuming it will be just split into two so I reckon this is going to be the last vlog but who knows. I'm currently at breakfast in the hotel. It's quite early as you can probably tell. Um, let's eat some food. got a custard pastry, some cheese and tomato pastry and this kind of savoury brunch bread sort of thing. Very excited. So, outfit wise today, I've got this dress on from Havens. I've got my hat also from Havens. Bag, British Heart Foundation. Why oh, didn't put any earrings on? Oh. That's annoying. No, well. Right, show fountain. Still very busy considering it's not even hey. nine o'clock yet. Eight. Quarter past eight. The show fountain was still very busy. We got some pics, got some vids. That's good. Um, we're just walking to the Pantheon now where we've got reservation book for nine, it's at 22, it's got loads of time, maybe even get an ice cream before. Is an ice cream before nine o'clock excessive, potentially? Am I gonna do it anyway, maybe? We're going in, this was so much easier. You can book your tickets before, it's new. Um, so make sure you book your tickets before, otherwise the queues are really long. And um, we still had to wait in a little queue because we got there before opening, but if you if you weren't there before opening, you would get straight in. So make sure to pre-book your ticket. So I am listening to an audio guide, but I'm gonna to speak to you while I do it. Audio guides are kind of hard to find, in they have them here, but I've not like found them like free whatever and when i was booking the tickets that's when i found it hard to find like an audio tour instead of like a, a traditional tour so i just typed in free coliseum tours and rick i'll put the website in here and um, he comes up and they're like 30 between 30 minutes and an hour these tours and they're free and you can just listen to them you can download them or you can just listen to them on the web and they're really good so I like an audio bit, audio tour, so me and dad are listening to them so remember to bring your own headphones and you can just get an audio guide online Right, I'm just getting an ice cream. I'll show you all the flavours. There's 150 flavours, and I don't know which one to get. I might be here for a while choosing, if I'm being completely honest. There are so many. They had the best coconut ice cream yesterday, so I'm nervous to have it again in case it doesn't live up to the height. This is like more like protein yogurt. There's loads of different coffee ones, dad. It's still going. How? How? Champagne, basil, and that is it. I got Raffaello and uh, Kinder Bueno. Very excited. We have just made it to the Spanish Steps. It is hot. Another top tip is there's waters everywhere. Normally the fountains are a lot easier accessible than this one, but you can fill up your water at the fountains, just follow where everyone else is filling them up. I wouldn't have normally filled it up here, it's just there was a guard, so. And he was letting us fill it up. We're still going on getting my TikTok video. Um, probably by the time this video goes up, the TikTok will be up um, and real. Um, we're doing the hand clap one, you know. You know where I go, we're dancing. And I'm doing that one. Um, we're doing that, it's going quite well. Found some shade, you part of the step to walk up. Gotta like follow the shade on the steps because it's so hot. But um yeah, we're finding some very nice people to do our TikTok for us, which is very good. It is warm. We made it to the top everybody. Smaller one back there, St. Peter's Basilica, but that is really far away, so it's kind of crazy you can see it from here. We have come to this place again, recommended by our neighbour. Very excited. It's kind of like giving um, subway vibes, but with like hundreds more options. That's all meat, fish, vegetable, like paninis. Oh, I'm so excited to believe I am allergic to bread. So this would be interesting. We've got all of our sandwiches. You can tuck in. Tuck in. Do you want to see? No. I got some of my own. Dad's got, I don't know what you've got. What have you got in yours, Dad? Pecorino and pork. Mine, some classic Italian, like ham, pesto. Basil, mozzarella, mum's got tuna and egg and rocket. Yum. Sorry, major jump cut there. Having a bit of disaster with my feet. So obviously, if you followed on from the last vlog, you know that I had stretched a ligament in my ankle um, before I came to Rome. Um, 
and because of that, I'm putting all my weight on my other foot. That foot now has been covered in blisters, including one in between my big toe and my little toe that is massive and really painful and it's opened and it's really not nice. So we've come back, I'm gonna try and sort out my toe and then we'll go out later. I feel like I always feel guilty when I'm on city breaks if I'm not out all the time, but we got up and out really early. Um, and we just took a lot this morning, so I shouldn't feel guilty, but anyone else like this, that holiday, like, angst if you're not doing, like, activities hold on. Even though it's like, even when I'm in like, a sunny place, if I'm not, like, sunbathing every hour of the day, I'm like, I'm wasting it, I'm wasting the sun, as if, like, I, sh I just ignore my body when I'm on holiday, like, I sh oh, fucking my key felt like it was gonna be stuck. Um, I feel like we should just always honour what our body feels like it needs, and right now it definitely feels like it needs to lay down. I think I might just have a quick body shower and then have a nap. So I'll see you later. Okie dokie, I've had a nap. It was glorious. Didn't want it to end, but I do feel quite refreshed now. It is about half four. No, it's about quarter to five um, now. So it's really hard because we've got a lot, long list of places that our next neighbours recommended, which is amazing. Um, and then obviously I have recommendations from other places. Um, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to go... We're debating whether to go into Travel Stair tonight, which everyone's recommended eating there. Um, and then my neighbour has recommended one or two places to eat there. But I'm thinking, we've got these list of recommendations. Why not go to one closer? Because Travel Stair is actually quite far away from where we are. Um, so there's two of them like in the centre, but then probably about five minute walk of each other. So I think we're going to get ready and go. Aim to leave at like half five. So we've got about 45 minutes. Um, and then we're just going to go into the centre um and then like have like an early early dinner and then come back so then tomorrow we're going to vatican city but we're going to try and get to st peter's basilica when it opens which is early because otherwise the queues are just like mental apparently so we're going to try and get in like super duper early i think it's like 10 to 7 um so we need to have like an early night tonight because obviously tomorrow we're going to have a busy day but mum was concerned that tomorrow we'd also want to come back early and have like an early dinner um but I would like to go to Travis Stair and have a mooch, even if we don't eat there. So I think tomorrow we've got St. Peter's Basilica in the morning, then we'll go get some breakfast. Um, and then we've got the Vatican Museums booked for 20 past 12. Um, so once we leave there, it's probably going to be around like three, four-ish. My dad in the museum, probably more like four. Um, and then from St. Peter's Basilica, it's so much easier to get to Travis Stair from like there. It's just a bit it's still a little bit further out but it's fine um so we can take like a slow afternoon run there we're thinking and then still have like an early ish dinner um and then come home and rest because we're gonna be knackered um but yes i am gonna end this clip here i'm gonna get ready i might go sit in the bar downstairs um i need to work out how you actually get a drink because um he said there's menus on the table down there but i don't know where you order um so i'm gonna put on my dress um, I'm worried I haven't packed enough outfits, um, but that's a later me problem. So I'm just gonna put on one of my dresses and let's go. I have, this is the toe that's real bad. The blister's all in here um, and really painful. So I've blistered, I put a blister plaster on then I put a normal plaster on to keep the blister plaster on. This one, I put a precautionary blister plaster on because it is hurting, but I put it on badly so it's falling off. So I think I'm gonna put a normal plaster on to hold this one on. Um, sounds silly, but I think that's going to be my solution. And did you sign up for this feet content? I don't think you did, but I don't think anyone's going to pay money for this feet content. Cause, oh my gosh, my feet look awful right now. We just come to this restaurant, which again recommended by my next door neighbour. It's by Piazza Navona, and I'm very excited. Dad is trying tripe for the first time. Very excited. We're not really broke because I feel like you like all this sort of food anyway. So, Mum, what have you got? Very exciting. Dad, what have you got? I have a seafood pasta with tortinelli. Yeah, I think that's what it is, tortinelli. That lasagna. Yeah, that ain't a microwave lasagna like I'm getting. Ask. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. We're doing lemon chili. Mm -hmm. Ching ching. We have just come back to Piazza Novena to get a view of the TikTok I'm doing. Because you know, dedication is real. There is the fountain. Hello, everybody. It is the next day. 
and whisperings. It's really early. Um, it's about 6 a.m. Um, we're gonna head to the Vatican City um, because we're gonna do some Pete's Basilica when it opens, hopefully. Um, because the queues get crazy. Um, so we set our alarms. I've told my parents I'll make my half six, but I'm already ready. I always set myself too long. Um, I had my alarm for 20 to six and then snoozed it until like five past, no, 45. But like, it doesn't take me that long to get ready. I literally got ready in like 10 minutes. Um, but I'll show you what I'm wearing before we go. So earrings are old fast fashion. I've put my hair in a bun, but as I can see, it's so clear on this side, it's obviously really, to one side but what's at the back of my head is not my problem i've got this little corset top on and um, obviously i've got a shirt to put on when i go into like the church and then i've got this skirt which i got from havens every day oh top i think is cancer research um and then the skirt is from havens so it's two pounds and i'm on my trainers which have butchered my feet in not the way you'd expect like they haven't rubbed they've just forced my toes to rub together and also my eyebrows Looks so good right now. I'm not sure if you can see. Um, at the moment, I'm just putting brow gel on, like not even a tinted brow gel, but I'm just loving like this eyebrow. I don't ever have my eyebrow look that good. Um, I'll show you my trousers. So I've packed these linen trousers to wear tomorrow, um, and I couldn't find them for ages. They were screwed up the bottom of the bag, so we wetted them because they were so crinkled. But now they're not drying. I don't have a balcony or anything to hang them on. Um, so I've just hung them, I had them over the shower and I've hung them over the door. Annoyingly, I've been back too late and like up too early to hair dry them in the morning. Um, but I think we'll end up coming back to the room kind of early tonight um, because we're up so early. Um, so I will hang them out then and maybe go sit outside. I think in this heat, they'd probably dry in like 20 minutes. Um, if not, I hair dry them. Mum has texted me, let's see how they're getting on. We are walking to the bus stop. I am wearing a top, pull the straps down. Um, it is so much of a nicer temperature at this time of morning rather than when we've been going out and it's been like ridiculously hot. Um, yeah, it's a lovely temperature. Let's go get a bus. I'm sure we will get in, but if we don't, like if we do get in, this is the best time to do it, guys. 7 a.m. Look at the sun. It's so pretty. Like, you'll probably never see it this quiet, so it's amazing. Right, getting through security and actually on the way in took four minutes, if that. So, honestly, this is the time to come. We did have to get up at like quarter to six to get this, but honestly, worth it. The sun hitting it is just giving me absolute light. It's so pretty. Again, we are gonna be listening to our Rick, main man Rick, the audio guide thing you can download for free on the internet. Um, I'm gonna put that on when I get in there. I actually bought my headphones so I can um, listen to it with mum while dad listens to his own. Um, very excited. We're going in. I'm not sure how much I can film inside. It does say no mobile phone, so I'm gonna put it away. But I'll see what they say inside. We have finished inside St Peter's Basilica. Me and Mum are gonna go up to the top. We're paying the extra two euro to go up the lift. Only halfway though. You still have to walk 300 steps. We're gonna be shelled with humans by the time we get up to the top. It was two euros cheaper to walk up. I don't know who we think we are, but the view's cute already. We've done about 50 steps, it's about 500. <laughs> Cut to the top, my makeup's dripped down my face. I'm like panting, I'm like on the floor. We have done 200 steps and there's a path halfway up, so we've got a little drink sitting under the aircon. I've got a fan in my bra. Lovely. We're walking up, we're about halfway up. I'm not gonna lie, guys, I am scared of heights. So we're just down there. We are now walking up. These are all mosaics, but from the floor they're just like a painting, so it's crazy. Don't know why we didn't think of this, but it's curved because of the dome and the stairs were like 
and my shoulders could touch both sides and it's curved. I literally feel like I'm in the topsy-turvy house in Adventure Island. These are all straight steps now, I think. I'm sweaty. Smile for the vlog. We made it to the top. That was terrifying. If you don't like small staircases, do not come up. And here is the main circular square. Whoop, whoop. Up the top. Can you see the sweat? I, don't, I think the mirror missed the sweat a little bit. So we walked along that bit there, which is... Yeah, like on that bit of the dome, and then we went up right to the top of the dome. We have come for breakfast. Have we come to Mackey's even though there's loads of places? Yes. I do like to try different countries' Mackey's. Is it, does it count if it's breakfast? There's only a breakfast menu on it there. We've got a selection of stuff, but we're honestly just hungry and tired, so we're like, we need to eat wherever we go. So we decided here, nice and cheap, so we've got some food coming. Um, and we've not got the Vatican Museum, it's got 12, so we just chill, maybe find like a nicer place to chill, sit in a bar maybe. But yeah, my feet hurt. That's, we've already done 10,000 steps and it's about half nine. No, it's not even half nine, it's nine. It's nine o'clock and we've done 10,000 steps. I lie, it's actually quarter past ten, but we're still doing ten thousand steps. It's since quarter past ten. That's pretty good. My hair looks crazy. <laughs> it's a really nice, really nice espresso, that is. Right, so me and my bag got McMuffin. We're just going to share croissants, chips, dad's got a eggs and bacon and stuff. So we just sat in a little bar and had some drinks. Um, and we're just waiting now to go into the Vatican Museums. We'd prepaid for our ticket um, and then we had to go to this ticket place and they gave us a sticker and they escort you in. Um, and also once you're in, then you're free to roam around by yourself. Um, but yes, this is very warm now. It's getting getting hot, so I'm excited to go inside and hopefully it'll be cooler in there. We are following the yellow flag for our escorted entrance through security and then we'll be free. We are in the Vatican Museums. There's St. Pete's Basilica. Climbed up that earlier, everybody. Oh, bloody hell, it's hot. Some really pretty gardens. I actually think these are the gardens we could see from the top, maybe. So pretty. leaving the Vatican Museum. Well, me and Mum. We lost Dad. Oh, he's there. He's out. We've been waiting in a cab for an hour. We have made it to Travel Stair, which is apparently where all the nice restaurants are. So we are going to... <gasps> That's the thing I was saying about that I wanted to find. Just for a slushy thing. This is the thing I wanted to find. The slushy thing. Um, anyway, we're going to Travel Stair. We're going to find somewhere to eat. Haven't booked anywhere. Haven't quite anywhere in mind. I'm just gonna walk and see what takes our fancy. We have made it to a restaurant in Travis there randomly. I just needed a way. It got desperate in the end, so it looks nice though. I'm excited. Me and Mum have got some rice. Oh, yeah, we have got some mozzarella. Just literally straight out. Stop it. It's steaming up my camera. Did you get that smell? Yeah, yeah. Sausage and mushrooms. Yeah. Me and Mum are going to share this. We've ordered pasta as well. We have got mushroom pasta. Dad, what have you got? I've forgotten. It looks good. <laughs> yeah. I'll just a creme brulee. Dad's got a tiramisu. Of course. Very good. I'm not even sure I like creme brulee, but I've ordered it anyway. That was stunning. I don't do like creme brulee. That's amazing. So I realised it didn't end last night's clips, but it's just the morning. We have come here, we're going to walk up it. I think it opens at half nine though, so mum and dad have popped to the shops. I'm sitting because my ankle hurts, I haven't taken any paracetamol this morning. But look how cool it is! Um, and then we're going to walk to the vintage store. We've got a late checkout, so checkouts at two. Um, so that's not too bad, so we're going to do this, go to the vintage shop, 
have a little mooch and then go back to the hotel, like get ready to go, um, leave our hotel, and then leave our bags in the hotel, and then go and get like a late lunch, and then we'll be off to the airport. And they've only made one this morning. So, all photos with sunnies. Just putting up the kind of the gazebo bit on the entrance so we can go up. Um, very speedy. Mum, are you excited? I'm very excited to do more steps. Woohoo! We haven't done enough this whole day. Is in first, climbing up, bless him. He was on the right, right side of the gate. Amazing. We are up to the highest I think you can get up without playing. Oh, I think we can go up there too. It's so pretty. Around the other side, and you can see the Colosseum, some of the Roman forums. So cute. This is all free to come up. Um, there is a museum inside you have to pay for, and you have to pay to go right up to the top. But yeah, you can up here for free I've got these boards all around to tell you kind of what you're looking at they're a little bit faded you have to use your imagination a bit but there is St Paul's Basilica that's uh, St Peter's Basilica not St Paul's <laughs> St Peter's Basilica there that's where we climbed up yesterday um yeah it's so hot though so I'm proud of doing this in the morning um there's lots of shade so dad filled one of the shops mum is away for him I'm gonna go ahead on to the vintage store because the bus is here <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead to the vintage store um, and then meet them there. Unless Dad comes back in time and then he can come jump on the bus. Oh, the bus driver's getting in now. So I yes, Made it. Oh, wow. Love that. That's a pretty blouse. So pretty, I'm imagining this in that autumn winter. It's such a vibe. Gorgeous yeah. slip yeah. with a matching gown. Oh, that's so pretty, isn't it? Well, the music's changed for it. I'm looking for the lingerie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this reminds me of when we went to that, when we went to the sustainable picnic and um, all of the girls came in dresses like that and they just looked like literal goddesses just wandering around in the park. How gorgeous that label is. Absolutely stunning. I love a vintage tag. This looks so autumn. Actually, one of my skirts enough. I don't think it's just by getting another one, but it's so autumn. Unfortunately, this one is too small. It's got fun, fringy detail, but it is too small. Another one doesn't fit. I am so sweaty though, so that might be half the issue. Okay, this one's actually really cute. I might pick this one up. Cute for a tennis little photo shoot, but also just like a cute everyday summer dress. I'm going to that, but I was hoping it would be like a skater and it's not, it's more like a puffy ball. So neck. Nice. So keen on this neck, it just feels like hot on my shoulders. I know I'm hot at the moment, but it feels like hot on my shoulders. I really like actually the fit of this and the pattern, but the sleeve length is throwing me. I think I'm gonna give it a miss, but it is really cute. Stumbled across another vintage shop. I got these two things, I'm very excited. Guys, this is such a cool vintage shop. They've got Harley stuff, but it's very expensive because they know it. These are cute. Don't own a pair of dungarees. 2010 Amy would have loved that so much. Embroidered dungarees. They're so cute. Oh, they're so cute. The pretty slip dresses, the 90s. Oh, they're so cute. Very coconut girl, cool vibes. It's stunning, but it's very small. Cute little tops. The lingerie glassware thing is massive right now. I don't feel like it always is, but these stuff is so cute. Harley like baby tee here with kind of a longer sleeve but I just, it looks so sweaty already but it's cute. Very coconut girl. There's a couple of Harley things here but they're all like baby tees. It's not necessarily a baby tee gown, it's a claustrophobic in them. 
But there's some really cute pieces in here. <gasps> this little top, the little flowers. It'd be perfect for like a Rapunzel Disney bound. I'll just buy a drink. I'm sitting by Biggest Church and a statue. Um, we've got about an hour until we're gonna head back to the hotel and then like get dressed and then um, go for lunch. And I don't know what we're gonna do. I'm not gonna lie guys, my feet and my ankle are hurting. It's a lot of walking, especially when it's this hot. It's at 39 degrees and I am sweating. I'm going across another vintage store. Look at these Donald Duck trousers. more vintage shops oh, no, it's a oh, it's a Mario. So i like that that's so Mario. good that is such a good top <laughs> that is so funny so large oh vintage shops are so dreamy these mirrors are apparently like a design mirror i found it on facebook marketplace um they're quite expensive they have one in the pdsa in um leon c and they've got one in here too get an ice cream before we left and we walked around for ages couldn't find one found one with a what we thought was sitting inside which then they rudely told us it wasn't ice cream absolutely awful rubbish cone not good don't ever 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 drink or eat anything on a main square it won't be good probably the most touristy bit there is the piazza navona and there is the thing we got ice cream from absolutely shocking my drink's nice but cost me loads of money Come in to a restaurant, have some lunch, near a hotel. Before going to the stars of Google, so I'm hoping it's be good. I fell over on the way here. Hope I had my ankle. It doesn't feel too bad though, I think we're gonna be okay. Eight. I wouldn't do eight though. Yeah. We are on the train home, everybody. Or train, and then we've got a bus, and then we've got a plane, and then we've got a car journey. We're on the way home. I will chat to you on my back home. So it's a sweet when we get home, but we've just got a mac and at the airport. I'm so excited. We've got pizza pockets, cheese and bacon fries, and then a chicken and oh, pesto. Oh, that looks so good. Chicken, cheese, and pesto. And the bacon actually looks like proper bacon. I'm so excited. It is the next day. I've had a full day at work. Um, we didn't get in until like half one, two a.m. So it was a long, a long journey home and a long day. But I thought I would end the vlog. I'm gonna do a haul of everything I've got in Rome. That will be the next video that goes live, I am sure. So be sure to look out for that. I'm also gonna do like a Rome tips video of all my top tips. Um things we kind of learnt along the way um so yes look forward to that as well but it was so lovely i'm so tired um update on the toes if you caught that part of the vlog um they are healing um <laughs> and my ankles are slowly healing too um but yes thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up comment what you would like to do if you went to rome and subscribe if you're not already and i'll see you in my next one bye